Hi everyone, it's Mel from Sparkly Belly. Looking for a crop top to layer under your vest for belly dancing or festivals? Why not try this cropped peasant top? It's super cute on its own and perfect for layering. I kept the underbust area simple so you can layer another top on top of it, but the ruffled edges and the flared sleeves are so whimsical and pretty. I've simplified the method so it's a beginner friendly project. Let's get started! To make this DIY peasant crop top, you need 1 meter or 1 yard of lightweight fabric. I'm using lightweight cotton here, but chiffon or lace would make a really cute top as well. 3 meters or 3 yards of 1 centimeter wide elastic. An armhole pattern. You can download this for free from my blog. The link is in the description. And matching color thread. First, take 3 measurements. Your bust line, which is the largest part of your chest, your upper arm circumference, and your arm length, which is from your shoulder to your wrist. Cut two pieces of rectangle fabric that's 25 centimeters or 10 inches wide, and the length is a half of your bust measurement plus 12 centimeters or 4 and 3 quarter inches. This makes a bodice that's about 22 centimeters or 8.5 inches wide when it's finished. If you want more coverage, make these panels wider. Place the panels on top of each other, and at one of the top corners, place the armhole pattern. Align it against the top edge and the side edge and trace it. If you made your bodice panel wider, lower the top edge of the pattern by that extra amount. Draw this armhole curve at both top corners and cut along the lines. Next, fold your fabric in half and first draw a rectangle that's 45 centimeters or 17 and 3 quarter inches wide. And the length is your arm length plus 4 centimeters or 1 and a half inches. Use a fabric marker with disappearing ink here. If the circumference of your upper arm measures more than 38 centimeters or 15 inches, make this panel wider. At the top corners, draw the armhole curves as before using the pattern. You can leave the rest as it is, but I wanted a bit more dramatic sleeves, so at the bottom end of the sleeve, I measured 10 centimeters or 4 inches at both sides of the panel and drew straight lines from the points that are 35 centimeters or 13 and 3 quarter inches from the top edge. I measured from this point to the bottom edge and transferred it along the straight lines and connect to the bottom line. Smooth out all lines and cut out the sleeve panels. Now move to your sewing station and finish the side seams and armholes of the bodice panels and the armholes and side edges of the sleeve panels so they won't fray. You can use a zigzag stitch or use a serger or even fray check will do. Then place the bodice panels right sides together. Do a straight stitch at the sides with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. For sleeve panels, fold each one right sides together and do a straight stitch along the side edge with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Then match up the curved sections of the bodice and sleeves right sides together and do a straight stitch with a 1 cm seam allowance. At the top edge and end of the sleeves, do a narrow rolled hem with a 5mm or a quarter of an inch seam allowance and press all seams here so it's nice and crisp. Cut your elastic into a length that's nice and snug around your shoulders and another one that's snug around your underbust. I recommend you make this underbust one tight so that the top won't rise when you put it on. Also, cut two pieces that are snug around your elbows. Stitch all of them at ends by overlapping the ends about 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch. Take the underbust elastic and mark quarters by folding the elastic and finding four equally distributed points. At the hem of your bodice piece, fold it in half to find the center front and center back. 
On the wrong side of the bodice piece, match up the four points of the elastic with the center front, center back, and side seams right against the raw edge. Do a zigzag stitch right over the elastic while stretching the elastic so the elastic and bodice hem align. Of course, if this is too tricky to do at the sewing machine, you can place more pins ahead of time. Once you go all the way around, fold the elastic part to the wrong side so the elastic is encased. Do a zigzag stitch along the edge and again stretch the elastic as you sew. Next, mark quarters on the elastic for the shoulders and the top edge of the top. Match them up on the wrong side of the bodice and 3 cm or 1 and a quarter inches from the edge. You may want to place more pins to make sure the elastic is positioned at 3 cm from the edge. Do a zigzag stitch right over the elastic while placing the elastic at 3 cm from the edge and stretching it. This makes cute ruffles at the top. For the sleeves, we attach the elastic exactly the same way. Mark quarters on the elastic and mark quarters on the wrong side of the sleeve at 34.5 cm or 13.5 inches from the top edge. Match them up and do a zigzag stitch as you stretch the elastic. Repeat for the other sleeve and your peasant crop top is complete. It's nice and comfortable and the ruffles add a perfect touch of whimsy to this top. Since the bodice is so simple, it's very comfortable to layer vests like these on top. If you want to make these Turkish vests, I have good news. I'm launching a brand new course on DIY Turkish vests next week. These are beautiful underbust vests that are custom made to your measurements and in the course, you can learn to make a version with this cute lace-up closure and another version that's stretchy and has a more casual feel. You can layer these on top of a blouse like this, or you can wear them with cute bra tops. Learn more about making your own Turkish vests at sparklybelly.com vest. I hope you enjoyed this peasant crop top tutorial, and if you did, please share this post with your costumer friends. Again, you can download the armhole pattern from my blog. Find the link in the description below. And if you want to make more belly dance costuming bids, check out my free course, Belly Dance Costume Making 101 at sparklybelly.com slash free course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling.